Hey everybody, it's Jan again. I'm back. I have like the weekend off, so it's been nice. I worked Friday night, and then Saturday, uh, my fiance and I went out with our friends and had a lot of fun, and um, that was really good. And I stayed really good um, on my, you know, my tracking. Um, I know that I was, I've been doing Weight Watchers pretty much my entire. Um, Weight loss journey so far. That's why my name is Jen's WW Weight Watchers Journey. Um, and I decided that I'm not going to be doing Weight Watchers anymore. Um, over the past like two weeks or so, I've been doing the Weight Watchers in conjunction with um, my Fitness Pal. And my Fitness Pal is calorie based, and I was always like, I'm never going to count calories. I'm never going to count calories. Okay, I'm coming to the dark side. I'm counting calories. Um, because I've decided to do that because I feel like I'm not getting the results that I want from Weight Watchers. Um, I was doing really good at the beginning. Like, I, I was using my points. I was sticking to the plan. Like, the whole Weight Watchers plan is you have these points. You use them through the day. Like, money. Everything costs points. Try to eat all of your points. So I would get 29 points, and my first, you know, two and a half months of Weight Watchers, I was pretty much losing weight pretty consistently, and then I got to this lose 0.3, lose 0.2, lose 0.2, lose 0.1, and I was just getting really frustrated with it, and like, the more and more I thought about it, my points are never, were never changing, like, I'd lost a good amount of weight, I'd lost 15 pounds, and my points weren't changing, and I was like, well, why is that? Well, Weight Watchers only gives you, tw like, 29 points is the lowest you can go on points. And I was like, so that's technically not, like, changing my caloric intake. How am I going to lose the weight if I'm not changing, you know, my intake? This is, like, my nurse brain at work. <clears throat> so I was like, this really isn't working for me. I need to change it up or at least do something different. So I've been doing the, my fitness pal for the last like two weeks, like I told you. And in two weeks, I've lost three pounds with my fitness pal. So I feel, like, I don't know maybe if I was just stuck or, because, like, I know that that happens, like, with your weight loss. You just kind of come to, like, a plateau and you need to get over it. And I don't know maybe if I'm just over that plateau now, but I don't know. I just, I'm going to stop the points. Um, and I'm going to save that money because it's like 20 bucks a month or something. And my fitness pal is free. So I definitely encourage you guys to check out my fitness pal. I'll put it right here. But it's just myfitnesspal.com. And then you can look me up there and you can be my friend. And it's still under Jen's WW Journey. And I'm not changing my channel. It'll still be Jen's WW Journey. I'm just not doing Weight Watchers anymore. So that's that. Um, I kind of came to that conclusion Saturday night. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so far, so good. Uh, and then I had Sunday, which was Mother's Day. I hope you guys had a good Mother's Day, um, and spent time with your mom. And if you don't have a mom, or, um, hopefully you just spent time. I know that there's got to be at least one woman in your life that <clears throat> has helped you out in some kind of way. So maybe you showed them appreciation. <clears throat> um, for Mother's Day, I spent time with my mom, and my fiancé spent time with his mom, so we were apart, which is, like, weird, because Sundays, like, are days that we, like, really spend together. But, um, I spent time with my mom, and I walked the mom. <laughs> no, I, uh, took my mom for a walk around the neighborhood. We did, like, four miles in, like, 45 minutes or something. So my mom's trying to lose weight, too, so I was like, oh, that'll be a nice something that we can, like, do together. And I got her a picture frame that was, like, Oh, family, like, is who, like, mold you to be you or some I don't know, something cheesy on it. And then I'm going to get her a, um, picture of me and my little sister and her to put in it. And then I also, instead of, I normally take my mom out for dinner, but she's trying to lose weight. Now she's a diabetic. She got diagnosed with diabetes in, like, October of last year. So, as she's trying to lose weight, she's a diabetic, and... I'm trying to lose weight. So I was like, it's probably not the best idea to go out and, you know, try to take her out for dinner for Mother's Day. So instead, I took my favorite, oh, I just had it, my favorite cookbook and 
took it to her house and I made my naked chicken parm recipe for her. So I made naked chicken parm, I made, um, I got some broccoli, I did a little salad, and I did the reduced fat crescent rolls. And that's what I made my mom for Mother's Day. And it was really good. And I was like pretty proud of myself that I went and cooked it for her. And even my picky little sister liked it. So go me. Um, and then today is Monday, my another day off. I work tomorrow. Um, today I've been really good about eating. I just had my normal cereal and toast and stuff for breakfast. And then for lunch I had sushi. It was so freaking good. It was brown rice sushi with avocado and tuna. And it was really good and I liked it. And woo! -hoo. And then I think I'm going to make something for dinner tonight. And I'm going to go to the gym later. Um, it's about 3 o'clock. I've just been working on homework all day. Um, I'm going to wait for the fiance to get home. And we're going to hit up the gym. And I have a goal today. My gym goal is to spend an hour on the elliptical and then 45 minutes lifting weights. So I'm going to do it. That is my goal. And I'm sticking to it. So that's been what I've been up to. I hope you enjoyed my update video. I hope you guys are staying happy, uh, healthy, fit, and motivated. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.